Welcome to the first episode of the ISO. I'm Meg Kelly and joined today by Sydney Johnson, sophomore guard on the women's basketball team. Sydney, how are you doing? I'm good, Meg. How are you? I'm doing a lot better after seeing you guys play this uh, this week. It's been awesome. <laughs> you guys on the court again. It's been been too long. What was it like being back on the floor? Man, it was really interesting. Like talking with uh, like the rest of my teammates, we're like, how do we really like feel during that game? And it really didn't feel like a game to us. It felt like, I don't know, kind of like a more intense practice almost. Like, I guess we're still trying to get used to playing again. And it looks so different now with no fans, no band, um, just like a lot of changes. So it's definitely still a lot to get used to. But I mean, we're really just thankful to be able to you know, play again after so long. Yeah, it's been a long time since March 9th, the last game. So 301 days later, we got some basketball in. And right. for you, um, what was it like playing against Holy Cross, a team you guys know pretty well? And you went off for 18 points in the first game. And last season, you went for 21 against Maris. So you were just ready to go game one. What's the kind of secret behind you being in midseason form by the first game? Yeah, well, to like answer part of your question, playing Holy Cross is like always like we need to beat Holy Cross. Like that's like our in-state rival. Um, you know, they're not far from us. So it's always like, you know, we need to kind of dominate against Holy Cross. And then that being our first game, like that intensity is like turned up even more because, you know, coach talks about making a statement this year. Like we always want to come out and make a statement first game. Um, you know, we just want to play and put, put together all the stuff that we've kind of been working on um, in the preseason and in the off season. Um, because we have worked a lot, we have sacrificed a lot. So it was really important for us to like go out and show, you know, how much we've prepared. Um, so, I mean, it's just the first game. Everybody in the first game wants to just, you know, make a statement, come out really hard, come out really intense. So I don't know. I don't know what it is about first games for me. I, I don't know. You just want to come out hard. So that's really all it is for the first game. I think just coming out with intensity. Yeah, you guys certainly did that. Two convincing wins for you. Can you talk a bit about being a sophomore now? Your freshman class last year, the five of you made a huge impact and once again did that over the first two games. What's it kind of like for your class to kind of grow up together and now looking to make an impact in year two? Yeah, I mean, the sophomore class, we like are kind of conjoined at each other's hips. Like we just love hanging out all the time. Um, so I think about us having like that kind of off the court connectedness, like it helps when we start playing together. Um, for us to have a big impact as freshmen is always just like, it just means so much because we are freshmen, like we're so inexperienced. So that makes us hopeful that, you know, now that we're sophomores, juniors and seniors, as we progress, like we'll be even more experienced and we can build off of, you know, that strong season that we had as freshmen. So it really makes us feel good that you know, we can build off of that and just keep adding to our experience. But we're just super excited to, you know, keep progressing and keep getting better because that's really what it's about, getting better um, as the more you play. So um, we're just excited to be back in. Like, I, I just love my sophomore class. I love them so much. Yeah, you guys are a lot of fun to watch. And speaking of getting better, you were on the Patriot League All-Rookie team last year. What are some individual goals that you have maybe for this year and how have you worked over your game this summer? What are you looking to do this season? Yeah, um, goals for this year. I mean, I really want that Patriot League championship. I really want to go to the tournament. Like that's really like our main goal. So personally, like whatever role, whatever I have to do to help us get to that position, whether it be getting steals on defense, um, just being a spark plug coming off the bench, whatever it needs to be. Like that's just kind of my goal is to, focus on the team's needs um and you know whatever comes out of that you know is 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 cool I don't really try to like I don't really focus on accolades or whatever again like I just really want to do what the team needs me to do but um I mean this year for myself like I'm pretty good at like, like getting to the basket like I like that's pretty much like my bread and butter but I would really like to like kind of perfect or you know work on my jump shot I feel like if I add that to like my game like I could be a lot better but my main focus is getting to the basket playing defense getting steals you know getting in people's faces being annoying on D so if I do those two things I think I'll be good. You mentioned that winning the Patriot League championship is a goal of the team and we're so close 
last year. What's special about this year's team and how can you guys get to that title game? Yeah, um, I mean, I think this year we have like this sort of intensity about us. I feel that is different from last year a little bit. Like even in practice, like everybody is up in each other's faces, kind of challenging, pushing each other so we can be prepared for games. But I think it's like this sense like of intensity that we have about ourselves. Like when we get going, like we're really, really good. So I think just finding that consistency and that balance where we can be intense for 40 minutes um, or however long we're playing, like however, however long we're on the court, um, I think that'll be like the key to us, like winning a Patriot League. But I love this team. Everybody is like willing and ready to contribute. I think the depth of this team is really special this year. Like we can put in anybody and they can give valuable, valuable minutes. So I think that'll really help us um, against our competition this year for sure. Yeah, definitely all 14 players can make an impact on the floor at any point. And even if they're not in the box score as much, they're making a difference in practice or just a huge piece of the puzzle to being on the team. And looking forward to this weekend, two games ago, it's Colgate. They've also been a program that's improved their win total in the last few seasons. What can we expect from this year's matchup against the Raiders? Yeah, Colgate is always interesting. They run a really interesting defense. So I think for us, um, the key to these two games will definitely be just finding the open man, moving the ball, making the right play on offense and then on defense and stopping some of their key players because they have some really good uh, guards. So kind of focusing on them and then on offense, just finding the open man, doing what we need to do, I think will help us to, um, you know, get, get two W's hopefully. But yeah, Colgate is always interesting. So I have confidence in us though. So it should be, an, it should be good, two big games. Yeah, big, big two games ahead. And then the rest of the season will be really exciting to watch the team and see the growth of the, the team from January to March. Thanks so much for your time today, Sid. And it was so awesome to, to see you play and excited to see more of you and the team this weekend and especially all this year. For sure. I really appreciate it, Meg. Thanks for having me.